Buddy, time to go to school. Dwayne, wake up, honey. <laughs> Bad dreams, nightmares. I can't sleep, Bobby Joe. Dwayne, wake up. You're going to scare the whole trailer court. It seems so real. It's just a dream, babe. Next time, just tell yourself it ain't real. I feel like I didn't sleep at all. Honey, will you call in sick for me? Dwayne, you don't have a job. Oh, yeah. Why don't you try Grandma's Cure? Warm buttermilk. Eww! And tequila. Huh. It's a chicken. It's a rooster. Chicken. Rooster. What do you want to do with it? Barbecue! Barbecue! What do we need? Firewood and bricks. Lots of bricks. Isn't that better? <laughs> Sorry, honey, I forgot to tell you. That just means it's working. Now you're going to have the sweetest dreams. Oh, hi, how sweet. Sweet as a Georgia peach. Wow, what legs. Hey, that's my mom. Oh, yeah, sorry. Why don't you try Grandma's cure? Are you gonna leave the head on? <coughs> cool. Could you describe it? Describe it? It's a trailer! want to alarm you, honey, but it was aliens that took him. I seen it. <laughs> it was that farm aid with the pickup truck. They hitched up and took off from Nevada. Honey, baby, darling, it's not what you think. You lying, cheating bastard! Wait a minute. That cheap slut's been dead and buried for years. Dwayne, a digger up and poker anyway. <laughs> Where is it? In the graveyard. What'd I tell you? Where's my gun? Oh, honey, I just had the most awful dream. <laughs> Wayne. Yes, baby. You lying, huh? cheating, pathetic, perverted, necrophiliac! Honey, baby, it's not what you think. I'm having a bad dream, a nightmare. Dwayne, I'm your worst nightmare. Get your hands off of that dead slut or I'll shoot your dang Woody off. But, honey, I thought it was you. Yep. yep. They're back together again. Yep. Lord have mercy.
Don't miss the turn, Willis. Now, let's get us a good spot today, Willis. Uh, how about over there? Not by that woman. She's the one that claims she has a prostrate gland. Well, they did fly to Atlanta for tests. That's what she says. How about over there by here? Mm -hmm. Bill, well, where are we gonna set up? Just keep a driving, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Are you sure this is a good spot, Bill? A relieved shopper is a paying customer. Just you remember that. Uh, remember what? Never mind. Just bring him a genuine gold watch. The one I bought off that fellow wearing the ski mask. Well, Bill, I sort of swapped it. Swapped it? For what? Guy in the Sky Products. Cha Cha Pet, the furry grow at home friend. You see, Bill, you just sprinkle these magic seeds on it. Cha Cha Pet, I'll show you Cha Cha. <laughs> I'd just like to say that I always thought you looked a little bit like Randy Travis. Oh, <laughs> Jeez, thanks, Bill. Well? Well, what? Say something nice about me, damn it. Hmm, let me see. <laughs> How about that judge up bet? Oh, fellas! Ayakoka, the Donald, and me, Cy Baxter, Guy in the Sky Products, President, CEO. What'll it be, fellas? Guy in the Sky Products presents the Super Whack All Duty Scooper. Ooh, I could use one of them. The Wake Talking up, Sports Bottle. Perhaps a self-cooking cheeseburger! How much for the watch, Hulls? Mother asked me that once! I told her it was a man's watch! I told her I'm a good man! Willis, I suggest we get out of the bags and put the pedal to the metal. bottle. <laughs> Put that blame thing up or I'll pitch it out the window. I don't know what he's got into that boy. No, really, Bill. Let's push this here. Nah, get it out of my face. Look at the road. Look at the road. Let me have a little don't mess with me. I got enough hair on my butt. I don't even have a whole blanket. No matter what you do, we'll be watching you on cut up camera. Horror movies, ooh. 
Stephen King novels. People just love to be scared. I do. Don't you? But how scary is too scary? We thought it might be funny to find out. Now, what could be more scary than a roller coaster, right? <laughs> but this is no ordinary coaster. Let's watch and see. So far, nothing unusual, right? <laughs> but watch that first drop. It's a doozy. That's right. Our unsuspecting riders are going straight to hell. <laughs> you should always read those warning signs. Now, that was scary. But too scary? <laughs> Don't count on it. It just goes to show people are stupid. Starring Blanche and Blaine Blockhead. The celery and the chopped garlic sprinkling. I wonder how that annoying custom got started. What annoying custom? The custom of someone chewing popcorn loudly while someone else is trying to pay attention to a movie or TV show. Who's paying any attention to this? It's just a boring old cooking show. I'm trying to pay attention. I like this show. I learn a lot from this show. What is the point of learning anything if you don't do anything with that knowledge? I never saw you cooking anything French. Hey, why did you change the channel? I thought you hated wrestling. Well, what difference does it make? I can't hear the TV anyway thanks to your loud chewing. Give me that. That was a spiteful, childish thing to do. Do you know that? Mm-hmm. Just for that, I'm going to watch my favorite videotape. Oh, no, not that one. Howard Snipes, but Bongo Bloopers. For God's sake, Blaine, aren't you sick of that tape by now? Or do you just enjoy watching semi-nude women? Semi-nudity has nothing to do with it. I'm watching this tape for purely sociological reasons. Well, I'm not going to sit here and watch this crap. I'm going into the kitchen to cook something fresh. <laughs> There. Yow. Why, you, why, Otta? My fabulous French cuisine. My bad coffee table. My complete prep run of horny biker sluts double wrapped in my arms. My tropical iguana. If you guess this daily double correctly, you will have broken the Jeopardy record. What's that I hear? A Jeopardy record about to fall? What is the North American guava bat? No, the correct response would have been the South American guava bat. Sorry. Good. I'm glad she got it wrong. The idea of people earning large amounts of money on idiotic TV shows like this makes me sick to my stomach. You said it. You know, Blanche, it really doesn't matter if we don't have any appreciation for each other's interests or hobbies so long as we share an intense hatred for so much in this world. You said it, Snookums. Ours is a love that is bonded by hate. <laughs>